Good morning everybody, exciting day today. I've got the mini digger turning up. We're gonna be digging the trench to the rear of the property to lay in the water main. So, yep, a significant turning point in the project once again. So, praying for good weather. Doesn't look too bad. He'll be here shortly, so just getting me preparation in place and uh, we'll kick the video off. So this is the foundation membrane. Now that will go, say this is the back of the house. We'll dig a trench out here. We'll go down, oh, it depends what the foundation's like, maybe a metre around that mark. And then that membrane will get rolled out across the whole of the property. Now what that does, that allows the soil to go against the wall, which is really good for thermal properties and insulation. But it also has rather simple but clever design, like an egg, egg box design. And what that does, it allows air behind the wall, so any moisture can evaporate out. And it's really good for deep foundations to keep, uh, you know, keep the, the wall damp free, hopefully. So while we're doing that, we're gonna lay in the water main which is the water from my end of the cottage right the way down and then into the rear where it comes into the uh, kitchen. So now this is all nicely cleared. Me and Steve done a great job on this, I must admit, considering how overgrown it was. So this is the area that we're gonna be working on. Now when we get down to this point here, from there down to the next junction really of the gutter in there that's the rear wall of our cottage so we're going to be going in somewhere around this point like I say it depends what the foundation is like down below so we've got to run our water main from down that end right away down here and then into here now I've got a little bit of hand digging to do because down on this end We've got the FOSS tank, so I can't get the mini digger in there, so from the manifold where it comes out, all of our waste water, we can use the mini digger this way, but to the end, on the corner, I've got to dig that out by hand. Not an issue, I can do that as long as it doesn't pour down. Okay, so that's how it looks at the moment. And then once the membrane has gone across the base of the foundation of these old buildings, maybe bank it up slightly and then taper it away that way so any water will run into here hopefully we can neaten this bank up and grade it on um, lots of you have you know showed your concerns about will the bank collapse well it's only this high it is tapered off and it's got lots of roots in there now all the roots are from the trees mainly the smaller roots so it's nicely knitted together not an issue here say this area really is just for access at the moment but I do plan to landscape it this is our beam our main supporting beam in the cottage so that's about I suppose six and a half to seven foot so if I measure off inside down to the ground level the floor is particularly high in this one because you go up steps so I'll probably say you know we probably 500 will take it, take it down below the internal floor level. Still gonna go down a metre though, because lots of these buildings have got different floors inside. The barn next to the cottage, now that, that's really low, so that's probably a metre or so below the soil line. Elliot has just arrived with the mini digger, He's just getting set up, and we'll get this job underway. Just getting set up we're going to use a slightly smaller bucket no need to take too much uh, the the earth away it's just really just so we can drop the water main in and the membrane so Elliot's just going to get a smaller bucket and then we'll change over to the grading bucket and sort out the levels afterwards 
I know someone's had his weight a bit. good progress the weather's on our side which is always good we're going down about a meter so well below the frost line for the water pipe and yeah I'll be looking forward to getting this membrane in to stop any penetrating damp into the walls uh, we've been discussing the drainage the surface drainage we're gonna bat it away from the, the wall so it'll soak into the bank and uh, yeah I think it will solve the problem two birds with one stone so we need to get our water main into here. We'll have to dig a bit of a, a pit there so I can drill through. And we're making good progress. ready for the backfill so it looks like the weather gods have been kind to us today it was predicted rain but well I think we'll be okay now halfway 
halfway to our destination point, just under. Not that there's a race, but it's good to hit certain targets. So we'll soon be at the cottage with the water main. And then after that, it's just uh, putting in the membrane right to the end cottage. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this going in. progress we've got the water pipe from the far end down to the cottage still got to drill a hole through into the cottage through the wall but we've got the excess just laid out there so we're not going to fill the hole around there so I've got access to drill and the membrane is going to be extended right away to the end of the cottages so making great progress weather's been kind to us a little bit overcast but as long as it doesn't rain otherwise we're going to have ourselves a swimming pool but once we've got the trench done, um, we're going to put the grading bucket on and then we're going to level this ground out and then slope it away from the property. So that should deal with the drainage side of things. So yeah, really pleased with progress today. It looks a bit of a mess and it is, but it won't once we've finished. So this is our cottage that we're working on from there to there. And the water main will be going in here. So simply don't fill the hole in that side to that side. So I can get access in there, drill the hole through, then we'll backfill afterwards. So we're just working our way to the end cottage. Bit of a tree stump there. And once we've dug that out, it'll be plain sailing. I'm just going to 
overlap it, give it a good overlap so no water can penetrate behind. And we're nearly at the end of all the buildings. And then we'll backfill afterwards and do the grading. So this sort of work isn't very glamorous, but it's necessary all the same. You know, you have to have proper drainage. Obviously you need the water supply. Can't have the damp penetrating into these old buildings. You know, because we're making them sort of habitable for you know, today's living, we have to you know, use different methods to keep them dry. Before they used to just air out naturally. Now we're sort of beefing up the insulation side of things. You seal, you seal these old buildings up, so you need to take different measures. So that's what we're doing. We're waterproofing the back of the property and sealing it off from the, uh, from the elements. So we've managed to dig out the tree root, which is good. So that won't be damaging the foundations. Now that tree was there and uh, yeah, it was planted by the squirrel. It was a walnut tree, so it had to come out. I've got lots of walnut trees all around the property, so that one definitely had to come out. So we're just to the edge now on the cornerstone. We've gone down maybe not quite a metre at this end because the land is a lot lower. But nevertheless, it will still be done with the same principles as what we've used further down. So unfortunately, I don't think we can get the mini dig around this side. So this water pipe here has got to be dug down, I think by hand. It's got to be returned round and made off into the mains there. So unless I can get the mini digger in here, that's what I shall be doing tomorrow. But more than pleased with getting the lion's share of it all done by the machine. So once we backfill that, that will tidy this area, you know, right up. Like I said before we're going to grade the land away from the side of the wall that way and then that way any surface water will run this way and then it will just permeate through the soil. Can't go through the membrane now so yep let's give us probably another meter and a half of drywall so yep well worth having. He's certainly done a good job with that mini digger today it's difficult terrain you know not, not much room tight against the wall but I'm more than happy with what he's done. I just use these temporary pieces of batten just to hold the membrane against the wall and then once we backfill I'll just hold it in place. And then what we have in this area here is an open gully and all the gutters feed down into there they go into this open gully now that goes down and that goes under the ground in the barn and then comes out the other side eventually goes into the pond. So we're now at the end of the cottage with the membrane and what I'm going to do at a later date is remove the lean-to and then extend the membrane round the corner of the building but until then we're just going to finish it off there and then concentrate on backfilling this area. So we'll probably have to come back another day. Nice to see the back of these brambles. So good news, we was able to get the mini dig around by where the FOSS tank is. We just about squeezed it in, so it saved me a hell of a lot of digging. And uh, I still had to dig, but not as much. Ooh, burn them calories up. Right, let me show you what we're doing. So I like to dig this section out by hand, which wasn't too bad. Started backfilling it, got our pipe going across to the FOSS. We was able to press the edge of the FOSS tank, we was able to fit in here and dig all this out, so that has saved me days and days of work, backbreaking work, so we're just coming to the end of it now, we're going to run our water main in, and then I'm going to finish the rest around the corner by hand, so yeah, that's really helped, cheers Elliot, great job there. 
right, it started to rain, so we're against the clock once again. I don't want this turning into a mud bath, but this was important that we done this end. And now it just means we've got to just literally move the soil back and then grade it off nicely that way. So this will look completely different, hopefully within the next hour or two. So we're just carefully digging along here. I've got a pipe that runs across there, but we're well out of the way. This will save me a lot of digging. He's very good on the machine, so I'll trust him. He does fit for septic, so he knows what's what when it comes to drainage. That has saved me days of work. I'd just like to take this opportunity once again to thank everyone that supported me. Uh, buy me a coffee, Patreon, Super Chats as well. You've all been so generous. I will write all your names down and give you a, a mention on one of the videos. Just a little bit too busy today. Um, yeah, we was uh, racing against the rain, but yeah, thanks for your support. You know, you're really keeping this project marching on. Right, okay, that is it for this video. See you all in the next one. Bye for now.